ANSYS mechanical one bar problem. Here, here bar of constant cross section area is given. Consider a bar as shown in figure. Ring smallness is 210 GPA and the area is 500 mm squared. Here you have to determine the nodal displacement and stress. Here bar of cross section area is 500 mm squared and is acted upon by 1000 Newton. The length of this bar is 1000 mm. Ring smallness is 2.1 into 10 power 5 Newton per mm squared. First need to open the mechanical APDL. Mechanical APDL. This is mechanical APDL. So for this problem, our preference is on structural. Click structural. Okay. Then preprocessor. So we have to select the element, add element. We have to add link as our element. For this bar, bar plum, click OK and close it. Then we have to add to the material properties. Go to material models. And for this, this is a structural problem and this is a linear analysis. And we are going to say elastic member for the acetabular property. So we are giving acetabular property. So about 200 GPA we can give it as 2E5. So 210 GPA. And poison shisha has 0 0.28. These are steel properties. Click OK. Close it. Then go to sections. So in the section, we have to select the link section. So because we have selected link as our element, add the section. Give section ID as 1. Click OK. Then section name as bar, a 1D bar. So since the area is given, right? 500 mm square. Yes, 500. Next. Go to modeling. So create. So here we are going to create nodes first. Nodes in active CS. So node 1. So here we take this as node 1. This is node 2. Node 1 is at 0, 0 position. X, X also 0, Y is also 0, Z is also 0. So when it comes to Z, node 2, along X axis, right? So node 2 is which at a distance of 1000 mm. Y and Z are 0. Repeat, node 1 is at 0, 0 position, node 2 is at along x axis 1000 mm. So here we are maintaining all dimensions or all mm only. So go to inactive CS. So node 1, where is node 1? 0, 0, 0. Node 1 is at 0, 0 position. Click OK. Click apply. Next node 2. Node 2 along x axis it is 1000. Rest y and z are 0. Click OK. Now we have created node 1 and node 2. Next, we have to connect this node 1 and node 2 by element. First, we have to create element. Go to element, auto number, through nodes, click 1 and 2. Just click OK. Yeah. Next, modeling over. Go to loads, define loads, apply, structural, yes. Here, see, node 1 is total constant. There is no displacement, right? All degrees of freedoms are 0. Along x, along y, along z, r, all transitory motion, all rotation direction, everything is constant. There is no displacement at the node 1. right? So displacement is 0. So when it comes to node 2, node 2 is acted upon by, acted upon by force of 1000 Newton along positive x axis. Keep it in mind. Now I am going to apply displacement at node, select node 1. Select node 1, click OK. So all degrees of freedoms are 0. So no displacement. 0 displacement. Click OK. Next, add 2, we want to apply force or movement. Force on nodes. Click node 2. OK. So along x axis, right? It's positive 1000. Plus, click OK. Loads over. Then click on solution. Solve current load step. Click OK. Now the solution is done. Close it. Now go to general post processor, plot results, contour plot, nodal solution. So if you want displacement or deformation, click, click on deform solution along X component of displacement. Click OK. So we get deformation. Right. Same time, go to here, you go to main menu, go to plot controls, here style. Size and shape, click size and shape, click on. Okay, okay. So 
next if you want uh, element solutions test value go to element solution click test select the one which is this drag this click one which is this click ok you get test value deformation as 0.01 and stress as 2 in newton per mm squared and deformation is in mm because we we are maintaining all units in mm that's it